I just recorded an entire episode of Pack Squads. Like, bro, look at this freaking box score right now. We won eight to seven. We went down three nothing in the first. My opponent came back and tied it in the sixth inning. We then took the lead back and we never looked back. We hit a home run with Trevor Story. We had 10 hits in total, over 30 packs. 30 packs. And the worst part about this is that I pulled a Roldis Chapman, Josh Donaldson, Blake Snell, Shohei Otani. All right, guys. So I just got done recording Pack Squads episode nine. For whatever reason, the application decided to stop working. It still says I'm recording on my taskbar but it says that the app's not responding. So I'm assuming that the file's not gonna be there. I just played an absolute dog fight of a game. We got a Roldis Chapman, Josh Donaldson. Let me turn off Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch before I get a copyright. But I mean, just an amazing game. I'm hoping that this saved. No lies detected either. Duplicate Aroldis Chapman sitting in my inventory. We'll go ahead and put a sell order in on him for 28,500 stubs. <sighs> Blake Snell, a duplicate. We'll go ahead and put a sell order in for him. 2,700 stubs. Oh, right. Also, we pulled a duplicate Yasmani Grandal and Jose Abreu for the first time. We also pulled Marcus Simeon in the pack. It may have been the deepest pack opening that we had. Like, pr probably the, the most golds. We only pulled the one diamond. Chapman's pretty good. Very good for this type of series. But, I mean, value-wise, he's not the greatest diamond in the game. But a good one, nonetheless. A ton of good golds. I'm going to go over to the Angels, and we're going to have a duplicate of uh, Shohei Otani. Like I said, we pulled Josh Donaldson. Here's our duplicate of Josh Donaldson. So I'll put the sell order in on him. We'll put that in. Um, oh man, this is so frustrating. Duplicate Shohei Otani. I can't believe that just happened, man. I've been having serious issues with my Elgato lately, and I just don't understand why. Like, <laughs> I have a hard drive plugged into my computer. There's, It's not a space issue. I clean my computer out every single night to prevent these type of things from happening. Just, I, I don't know. As soon as I hit stop recording, there's the Simeon duplicate. As soon as I hit stop recording, it just, it the file, the whole app crashed and closed. And when I opened it back up, it said that the file was corrupt and that I don't have the gameplay. I have the face cam. As a matter of fact, I actually, I'll go ahead and put the face cam footage up right now of the home runs and the diamond pool. So at least we can check that out. Trevor Story, that's a barrel. That's what a home run looks like. It's 3-2. Smoked, that better than the gap. That's gonna score two. We take the lead and some. Another gold, Yasmani again. There's a duplicate. We got two more packs and then we'll be done. Lots of golds here, so good value. I was about to say, if we don't get a diamond, it's okay. We got good value in our golds, but we clutched it out at the end. There's one pack left. Did we go trout fishing? Did we go trout fishing? It's an American League left-handed closer. Chapman? Did we just get a roll to Chapman for the bullpen? Bang! But as you guys can tell, I am extremely frustrated right now. We started Aaron Nola and we struggled with him. He gave up the three homers in the first, or the three runs in the first inning. Gave up a couple more hits in the second. I ended up taking him out early. We went to Noah Syndergaard. That's why his energy is down. We used a good chunk of our bullpen in back-to-back -back games. I was going to put Otani in the rotation for Aaron Nola. That's why Chris Paddock is back in that slot because I put Paddock in for Otani. Obviously, I'm not going to use the pulls on the team because I don't have footage of it. There's no proof of it. I'm not going to be that guy. But uh, yeah, I'm just like super upset right now because I wanted to upload back squads every single day this week. And this is just uh, really demoralizing, to be honest with you. It, was, it took me an hour and 10 minutes to record that. As you could see, there was 17, what, seven? I can't do math. There's 15 or 16 runs scored. And 15 runs scored in that game. 
uh, multiple lead changes, uh, a diamond pull, some great gold pulls, a ton of packs to open. Um, I, I only had one hit with Grandal, so I'm going to debut Mitch Garver. In the next video, we put Devers on third and Jose Ramirez at second base um, for that game. Uh, Jeff McNeil, I'm only one for eight with him, or one for nine, two for nine, I'm sorry. Uh, well, I was one for eight with him before that game, and then um, he went... Uh, he went one for one as a pinch hitter off the bench. We did get a hit with Jeff McNeil in that game. So we ended up, he's now two for nine, one for one off the bench. But uh, we put Jose Ramirez at second, Devers at third. Uh, debuted Cattell Marte in center field. Um, he had a great game. As a matter of fact, I've used them before, so I can't show you there. But I'll go into game history, show you the game logs. Um, as you see, Cattell Marte went two for three with two RBIs. Trevor Story, two for three with a home run, four RBIs. Um, where's that? There's the Jeff McNeil pinch hit one for one. Whit Merrifield was one for one off the bench. Jose Ramirez at second base went two for three. Um, uh, let me show you guys the pitcher lines uh, down here at the bottom again. Nola only went two innings, gave up three hits, two walks, three runs scored. Didn't look good. Um, control wasn't good. Syndergaard came out, had two scoreless innings. And then um, in the sixth inning, um, let's see, I pitched the third four. He actually had three scoreless innings. He pitched the third, the fourth, and the fifth scoreless. And then in the sixth inning, he gave up two bloop singles and an opposite field home run to Matt Olson. That's when I took him out of the game. So he gave up all three of those runs in the sixth. And then we went to Doolittle. Doolittle got us out of that jam, but Syndergaard, his ERA says nine, but he was actually really dominant. Uh, for three innings, and then that sixth inning is where he got pieced up. He had a bloop single, stole second. Another bloop single was for an RBI, and then two run homer with Matt Olson. So there's that. I'm honestly misremembering exactly how this played out, but just trying to give you guys an update on what just happened. Um, I'm not gonna play a game in this video right now. I really just wanted to update you guys on the stress levels that I'm going through. So yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna play a game uh, right now. I'm not, I, I can't re-record it. I'm supposed to be streaming tonight at seven. And if I'm being completely honest with you guys, I'm hanging out with Roman for like an hour and a half before I go live. So there's just, the only way I'm gonna be able to re-record it is if I cut out family time. And that simply is just not going to happen. So our regular, scheduled pack squads video is not going to go up today extremely disheartening trust me if you're upset about it i am 10 times more upset especially because of how good of an episode it was i just i can't catch a break man it's it sucks dude tomorrow though um we will debut the 85 overall roman robinson he will be pitching to start uh, the game tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, we're gonna debut Corey Kluber. Hopefully we don't have any issues with that. Hopefully I don't have any issues recording this right now. For all I know, there's an internal issue with my capture card and this one isn't gonna record either. I have absolutely no idea. This is um, this is quite the experiment here. Um, yeah, so I figured I'd take, uh, I figured I'd just, you know, give you guys an update. Also let you guys know that tomorrow I'm gonna be starting a no money spent series. I know I'm known as the guy in the community who dumps a bunch of money in the packs, and I probably spend more money on this game than anyone in the community, despite the fact that this game is not play to win. You can get so many great cards and 99s like crazy without spending a dime on this game. It's one of my favorite parts about the game, despite the fact that I do do pack squads and I spend a bunch of money. But um, I'm always seeing people ask, you know, what's the best thing I should, what should I do as soon as I get the game? Or what should I be grinding right now? Or what, what cards do I need to grind that I can get for free? What's the quickest way to get through the XP reward path? All these different questions about upgrading their team and the best way to go about Diamond Dynasty. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be starting a No Money Spent series. Tonight on Twitch, I'm going live at seven o'clock Eastern. I'm gonna be finishing packs, or not packs, I'm gonna be finishing Conquest on my main account. Um, I'm almost done, probably will take like an hour-ish to finish the main conquest map. And then we're gonna start grinding no money spent live on Twitch tonight. Tomorrow, episode one of the No Money Spent series is gonna go up. It's gonna be a recap of everything we do tonight on Twitch. I will also get gameplay in. So any packs that I unlock tonight on Twitch, I'm gonna save them for the No Money Spent series tomorrow. So at the beginning of the first No Money Spent series, just gonna give you guys a breakdown of what the series is about. We'll talk about everything that I'm gonna do on Twitch tonight. Um, and then, yeah, we'll just we'll dive right into it. I'll give you guys a team update. We'll rip some packs that we unlock grinding tonight. 
and we'll jump probably jump into a ranked seasons game and play with like a little base squad a little starter squad every no money spent series uh video is gonna be a you know just diamond dynasty update what am i grinding what am i doing right now what should you be doing right now to make your team better to grind through the xp reward path um, give you guys a full team update everything that i've done up to that point update my squad and then we'll there's always going to be gameplay in every single no money spent series video it doesn't matter whether it's ranked seasons or if we're playing events or if we're doing a br draft whatever it is no money spent will always have gameplay on top of updates and like how to's and tips and tricks all that stuff so i'm super excited to bring that no money spent series to you guys it's something that i'm planning on uploading three or four times a week. I'm gonna be grinding that stuff on stream on Twitch, probably daily, pretty much every single day. I'm, I, before I started doing YouTube, I was a no money spent guy. I know there's thousands of people that watch me that refuse to put any money on the game and I respect it, I understand it. And if we're being real, Diamond Dynasty is the best sports game to play. If you're not the type of person who wants to spend money, this is not a pay to win mode. Obviously the option to pay for cards makes it easier to get good cards and you can get a stud squad super fast if you're willing to swipe that debit card, but it is not necessary. You can get a goon squad without it. So I'm gonna help you guys do that. I'm gonna go on that journey with you guys aside from my main account. So I'm, again, gonna be live on Twitch tonight. Come so show some support over there. Obviously this has me a little bit down right now. Kind of killed my mood if I'm being honest. So I'm looking forward to getting in the house and uh, hanging out with the baby and kind of letting him lift my spirits up a little bit before I come out here and stream because this just really killed me, man. Hour and 10 minutes, insane back and forth battle, man. I was all, I was into it. I was hyped. I was excited. Gameplay was lit. We pulled a diamond, a bunch of good gold. The video was going to be a banger. And shout out to Elgato. Now, I'm a, I'm a, Elgato's a great company. They're a great company. They have incredible products. I'm using their key light, their capture card system right now. I'm using their cam link for my camera. It's just just very disheartening when something like this happens. I, because if I'm being honest with you, Pack Squads is my money maker. So this like literally took money out of my pocket. So it's a little bit depressing. Um, but yeah, back on track with Pack Squads tomorrow. Sorry if this video was disappointing or if it sucks. Just wanted to get you guys an update. Um, I will not be using the players that I pulled in the packs i will just be picking up where we left off yesterday tomorrow with the same team we'll debut juan soto Cattell Marte, and mitch garver and we'll be debuting the 85 roman robinson as well aaron nola is going to be off the team though because i just didn't have a feel with him today didn't like it so we'll get chris paddock back in as a matter of fact i didn't pull otani out of a standard pack i pulled otani out of the wild card pack we made 600 um, our record is now 13 and 0. We made the 600 ra rating. We're at 635. We got Otani as our live series player in this wild card pack. So maybe if we're going to keep anyone from these packs, do we keep Otani? Because technically the ranked seasons packs are like supposed to be. I, I just it just sucks that I don't have the footage. And I, it just boggles my mind that this happened. I'm just I'm blown away by it. I'm upset. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll see you guys on Twitch tonight if you want to come hang out. <sighs> Usually I like to make really high energy videos where I'm yelling and screaming and having a good time. And this obviously was not one of those. I'm sorry to disappoint. Truly really bothers me. Hope you guys have a good night. If you don't come over to the Twitch stream, have a good night. If you do, I'll see you over there. I'm out, guys. Till tomorrow. Peace. I did it in 19 because to be honest, this is how I get more runs done at a time. We are gonna do the BR draft right here, right now. I'm gonna play one game after the draft, and then I'm gonna finish the entire run in one sitting live on Twitch. So if you're not already following me on Twitch, link is in the description, twitch.tv slash real shelfie. Shoot me a follow by hitting the heart shape button in the top right corner of the screen once you get to my page and come hang out for the stream and watch me play with this team live. Of course, however, I will do a highlight video with the team if we go deep.